today is a very special day because I'm out here at the Ohio Valley Antique Mall. Yes, I have practiced saying that uh, with my friends Jocelyn and George. And apparently this place is huge. I've never been here. It's a bucket lister. I'm excited to go in. Jocelyn says it's super big. Italian cat, forty-seven fifty. That's pretty awesome. Kind of want to get that. Do I want to ship that? That's the question. Looks in pretty decent condition, honestly. Oh wow, I love this bank. The Happy Post Office. Let's see. I don't see a discount. Nineteen dollars. I think that's a little close, unfortunately. I uh, left my cart with the cat. I decided for the price, I could leave it and do better. That's gonna be so entailed to ship that I don't wanna have that much invested in it. I see 20% off in this booth. And I see this uh, Stevens and Williams Cruet. It's really pretty. It's in pretty good condition for Stevens and Williams. They're usually pretty chipped up. But it's actually this little toy that uh, I can't get into <laughs> that interests me the most. It's missing a part, but the little train. Yeah, I think I might have to let that one go. Oh my gosh. Bookends, $45 for the pair. Vomit owls. Two out of two. Those are pretty epic. Little vase, 75. Ooh. Yeah, those are really freaking cool. What else do they have in this booth? I like what's going on here. The mermaid. 42. That's a beautiful vase right there. I have a soft spot for the pink. 95 though. For me's up here. What does that say? 75. Ooh, look at this cat. Love the pearlized finish on that. 10 bucks, I'll take that. Look at this monkey with the hammer. That's unusual. How much are you? 12. And a little skunk with the mailbox. 12. Take the cat. I see some giraffe salt and pepper shakers hiding here. $15. Look at this guy. I don't think it's what I want it to be. Although it's got that kind of look to it. The characters on that are very unusual. Now this Santa is a hobbyist. It's kind of different though. Let's see. Ooh. I like that up there it's got a chip the dog is kind of the win he's sad $16 so oh Humpty Dumpty lamp and Rudolph Rudolph is 20 bucks I'm gonna put that back jadeite vase I'm still thinking about that amazing jadeite funeral vase I saw by Fenton that's awesome and the uh mug that's a spinny one wow i'm like trapped in here i love him <laughs> this is pretty neat like the pattern on it it's not as clean or well done i guess i should say as i'd like it to be this is pretty fantastic too Ooh, look at this face that's quite interesting 23 the dancer lamp wow 148 that's beautiful ah Look at this booth. So much kitschy stuff. It's so well displayed. Hmm. Not really seeing much that pops out to me. It's surprising. The display is wonderful, though. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. I know it's contemporary, but still, he's really cute. There it is. Monkey Egghead Salt and Pepper Shaker is $20. It's a little high for me. It's a really good deal if I was buying them for myself. 
Um, I have a feeling I could still, well, I'm like 99% sure I could still make some money off of them, but I don't have that much invested. These are really fun. I've not seen this exact version with those mice-like things. I think I'm gonna save that for the end. Oh my gosh, the cherry's hat. Oh, okay, okay, I can do this. Just have like one more aisle before I can do that. Two questions. One, are the hangers for sale? Two, what is happening here? Look at this. Mexican pottery. It's a fabulous rabbit. I haven't seen one quite like that. Speaking of fabulous rabbits, look at that honeycomb one. And the half dolls. 45, 45. Those are so pretty. Look at this box. $29.95. Dang, I thought I was going to say $9.95. Wishful thinking. Love that style. This is quite unusual. More talky. $50. It's really different. It's in great condition. Well, this Anid Collins style box purse sticks out to me. It's really cute. $36. That's probably about what I'd get for that after fees. What's this? It's like a weird choker. That's kind of cool. Or headband. Never mind, just kidding. I guess you could use it either way. And now it's time to embark on my case journey. So I'm going to be taking pictures of the cases I want to get into. The first thing I see are those white and blue vintage sunglasses. They look like they're at 15. Um, that's a steal. And I absolutely adore these uh, chalkware um, wall plaques. Unfortunately, they all have damage and they're sold separately. So I don't think I can do much with that. I would probably want to keep them if they were cheap enough too and they're not they're like right there i mean they're a great price but i'm super cheap just trying to see the price here on that zinzale it looks like 160. so awesome i also really adore that doll she's got such a great face that owl this owl is freaking epic too fits and floyd it's like 28 bucks though what is that the cat it's really strange. The next thing I see are these Pablo Zabal horses. I see the small one says 25. Even so, I've never even seen one in real life before. Uh, I think I am going to scoop that up. There's some room, and I'd like to see what the price is on the second one. Oh my gosh, the Kamar Devil. Epic. 105. That's a good price for a collector, too. And look at the glasses. Those are spectacular. Pretty epic uh, Blanco decanter at 125 there. And check out that cat back there. That's at 15. It's got a little chip on the ear. The can, uh, the Kana vase is pretty epic too. It's $30, but it's 25% off, which makes it not bad. Hmm. The cat's pretty great. I don't know about that chipped ear though. At that price, though, I feel like it doesn't matter that much. This case is pretty epic. It uh, made me ring the buzzer. I see that little Blanco vase in there for $20. I think that's Blanco at least. 20 bucks and 25% off. That's a no-brainer. Over here, I see some bracelets. That green one back there that's car uh, reverse carved. I actually think that's Bakelite. Um, I'm interested in seeing the price on that. This one's $13.90. Now, this heart pin is $29, but it is Bakelite, and it's pretty epic. Um, I think I'll have to take a look at that while I'm at it, as well as this green metal enamel. I wonder if Joss has seen that yet. It's <laughs> epic. So, I did go ahead and pick up the reversed carved. It was Bakelite, and it was 8 bucks. I picked up the green and metal enamel flower. Uh, that is actually not Bakelite. And this is marked as Bakelite, but something just wasn't right about it. So I decided to pass. Now let's see what we got going on down here. Oh yeah, the fish. Also hasn't been down this way yet. Now that's more like it. Check out that Bakelite rhinestone brooch. That is fabulous. I also see the little clamper back there. That's at 15. So I just caused a huge scene. I gasped when I saw these pieces. They're amazing. Unfortunately, they're a little high considering there's a couple people who have them for actually just 10, 10 bit less um, on the bay right now. Otherwise, I would have had to grab one for myself. I have a sickness for that stuff. 
Um, but I've kind of gotten a sneak peek and there is some really epic stuff in this row. I, I forgot where I left off, to be honest. I'm gonna have to find it. I think it was here. And then George pointed out that vase to me. <laughs> that is incredible too. The other thing I see back here is this vase on the right. That actually looks like it could be the Fetty. I think I see a signature underneath. It says 285. Oh my gosh, look at that blue piece. Does that say 75? Or 175, just kidding, I was gonna say. There's another piece back there. It says as is. I'm assuming uh, it's got some serious something wrong with it because it's only $80. And then that so the fruit necklace is to die for. Unfortunately, at 65, that's pretty close to what they sell for. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to unsee this jar. <laughs> that's really something. Um, I haven't finished looking down here. What is going on with the whale? That's crazy. Oh, it's resin. $2.99. Yeah, that's really different. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see that. Though it kind of seems like down here is where it's at. I might find that special road trip piece in here today. Look at that. $2.59. Oil spot, nineteen seventy five. That is a beautiful vase in the back. That's so funny. That paperweight. There's one like it at the Heart of Ohio with a cow in it, but it's got a fracture. I always look at it. That thing is fantastic. It's $3.95. Yeah, it's that one vase back there. It's really... Oh, what is that say? Oh, I can't tell what the price is. Well, I actually think that's going to be it for me today. And now I'm going to go snoop on Jocelyn and George and see what they're doing.